Her Royal Highness Crown Princess Catherine of Serbia in New York on a humanitarian mission. She joins me now in our studios. Pleasure to see you here. Thank you very much for asking me. And you are here to discuss Lifeline, a humanitarian organization that provides medical equipment and supplies to everyone in Serbia. How desperate is the need? It is very desperate because when my husband and I went to Serbia 15 years ago to leave, the Minister of Health has asked me to be the official coordinator for the health of the country. So my husband and I has uh, direct access to all these hospitals and knowledge to what they need. And I'm horrified when I go to hospitals that they don't have an ultrasound or they're missing incubators. We had to buy more than 200 incubators that had 10 premature babies who, with only two incubators available. So uh, it is desperate to be able to give those hospitals what they need. And uh, this is why uh, I, my husband and I go to uh, and have charity events throughout the United States in particular. America has been very, very generous and I have saved a lot of lives in my country. And we were chatting before, Serbia has extremely high cancer rates for yes, Europe. We do, we do. We have, we have had one of the highest incidents of breast cancer in Europe. And I was very blessed in the opportunity to have bought a mobile unit with digital mammography. Um, Memorial Sloan Catering was very good in helping and training our people as well, and radiologists and all that. And the Evelyn Lauder Center has been very helpful. They've been coming every year to my country and have conferences like we're going to have one in Belgrade October 21st but uh, we bought this unit and more than 100,000 women has been examined in, in, throughout every village and every town in Serbia and to identify whether breast cancer is uh, something that they have and uh, I'm very grateful for this opportunity to be able to check our women and to help women's health. How have current events impacted the health crisis? There was the Yugoslav Wars, which really was not that long ago. Now there's a migrant crisis in Serbia. So some very difficult, complicated issues. How does that make your job even harder in terms of medical care? First of all, it makes it very hard because I'm a mother and a grandmother. We are missing 10,000 children. We have a children crisis. This is not just a refugee crisis. This is not just an economic crisis. This is a children's crisis. We live in a world where there's no money for war, but there's money for peace. There's no money for peace, but there's money for war. There is strategy for peace, for war, but there's no strategy for peace. And until we learn to invest in peace, my concern is that we got to the point where the parents from the Middle East, Syria, and all those places, they are giving up their children for a better future. And this is a children's crisis. And this is why I saw that firsthand in Greece when I discovered that they were children that were put on a boat by the parents and they gave them their siblings to hold and the boat moved and the siblings all drowned. And that's when the Pope went to see what happened and, the, and Queen Rania of Jordan, I call her and thank her for it. So when I heard that these children had come and the parents gave them up, their siblings drowned in front of their eyes and now they arrived in Greece and there was really not enough money to give shelters and everything. And this is why here in New York I did a charity within two weeks in order to be able to get those children out of the detention centers, the police stations, because they had no place to put them. Uh, are you optimistic the EU, the UN, a governing body will be able to resolve the crisis, the current crisis? Well, uh, you know, this crisis is vast, very, very big. And I remember last year around this time, I was so worried about winter coming. What will happen to these people? Because they came to Serbia as well. I spent days and days with them, with giving them food, looking into their medical situations, taking care of their children and everything else. This is a huge problem. And, and I think I'm concerned because there's so many other problems in the world. And I'm not sure all these powers, how much time they're going to have to deal with this uh, children's crisis in particular. And I'm very, very worried. I hope that they will be able to unite through this week. We have UN here this week. So I hope they will unite. Leaders in the world is what I'm praying for because uh, we need leaders who will put people first. We need leaders who understand the seriousness of this immigrant situation and that will be able to put it right. Otherwise, this is God's children and we have every, they have every right to live well. Uh, my foundation has no borders in suffering. We help everyone, regardless of religion or ethnic origin. When I used to go to Bosnia to help during the war, I had a brochure that said, we take aid, 
not sides. And I was very, very lucky to have had parents who taught me the joy of giving, not the joy of taking. And this is why my foundation, Lifeline, spends a lot of time with programs, children helping children, because the children of the world, the children here in the United States, uh, have to learn from an every, uh, very early age the joy of giving. And these programs are there for children helping children. Crown Princess Catherine of Serbia, we're grateful to hear your efforts in the crisis, and I thank you for your time. I thank you very much, and thank you for all the support that this country has given me. I couldn't have done it by myself. Thank you very much. You're so thank welcome. You. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Street.